Hi everyone, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I'm Karen and I am here in this dorm room because it is back to school and we have a ton of college DIYs for you. Today I'm going to be showing you three ways to make your own large scale artwork that don't cost a fortune because art can seriously transform any wall but it can get really expensive, especially if you're on a college budget. So here are three ways to do it for super cheap. So our first idea only cost us $7. A print this big would usually be, I don't know how much, but way more than $7. The trick is to go to a print shop with your photo and have them print it on an engineering printer. It'll print large scale, in color, in high def, and it was only $7. So if you don't want to go to a print shop, my next project is how to take a large photo, divide it into a grid, and then print it off on your home printer. You're gonna to want to start with any picture that you like, but the higher quality, the better. Go ahead and open up your picture in Photoshop. Begin by clicking the Slice Select tool, and then clicking on your photo. Then go up to the top toolbar and click the Divide button. Decide how many sections you want to divide your photo up into, both horizontally and vertically. Now go to File, Export, Save for Web. Make sure you're saving them as JPEGs, and then click the Save button. You can save them wherever you like on your computer, and they will automatically save into separate image files in a folder. Now that we have all of our separate images, open each one and print it, making sure that you select the Resize to Fit option so that it fills the entire paper. Now you can use a paper cutter or just scissors and trim off all of the white borders. And now just go ahead and hang up your photos in a grid pattern. We used some sticky tack on the back of each photo so that it wouldn't damage the walls. And now for our third project, I'm going to show you how to make this faux hanging frame using wrapping paper and two pieces of wood. So I started with two one by two pieces of wood that were cut to be two inches wider than our wrapping paper. Now flip over your wrapping paper so that the pretty side is facing down and then use a hot glue gun to glue it to your first piece of wood. And I glued about half of it first and then just finished off the rest. Now flip your paper around and then repeat this with your other piece of wood on the other side of the paper. Now take your rope and cut a piece that is double the length of each of your wooden pieces. Wrap it around one side of the wooden piece and then tie it in a knot and then repeat that on the other side and then you can trim off any excess. And that's it. Now we're ready to hang it up for a beautiful, inexpensive piece of art. So I hope you guys liked the three easy, inexpensive wall art ideas. Ideas. There is no reason to have blank walls. Use these ideas, fill your walls with color, and I would love to know in a comment right down below which one is your favorite and which one you think you're going to try. So make sure you stay tuned for the next month because each of us here on Handmade is going to be showing you even more dorm room DIYs as well as a full tour of two dorm rooms. I'll see you guys next time.